mom. And, and, and then next thing you know, you're paying fucking alimony, child support, all because you want to do the right thing. But this damn devil, he didn't set it up for you to have it your way, man. This ain't Burger King, okay? So in much wisdom, there's nothing to do. Yeah, I got another one. This one takes time. And, and, and. And if you're in the truth, all a woman, all a woman has to do to take you to court is say, "Look, he's a, he's a he's a psycho. Look at him. Yeah, he's in a cult. He's in a cult. I can't take this. He believes in the Bible. He wants to restrict. He wants to restrict me and my children. And all this yeah. nonsense. You don't got kids with her. All she gotta say is, "You did it." Oh yeah, yeah. He raped me. Aren't you together? I didn't consent. You can still you can still get charged with rape. You still get charged with rape. I didn't consent. Even if it's your wife. Yeah, then they're trying to pass that law. Even she has to say yes. She even if they're yes. married. Yeah, it it can't be a pause. It can't yeah, be it's just she has to say yes. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. You done with that art? Uh, uh, and, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. This Ecclesiastes 7 verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Yeah, oppression make a wise man mad. And this guy, he he doesn't realize that he's being oppressed, right? Well, he got a beam right at a certain time. Yeah, he, he, as long as I got by a certain time. Then that's the whole reason why I was why I was alluding to the Book of Maccabees with him is because for that same reason, those the when it talks about those wicked Israelites that made a league with the Greeks. For that same reason, they made the league with the Greeks because life was hard because the heathen were pressing upon upon Jacob. And so they said, you know what, let's just make a league with them so that it alleviate our grief. Hey, that, that's why he joined the military. <laughs> he, he said to fight for Israel. That guy's insane. He's a liar. He went to fight for money to get himself and, and, a, and a status, you know, to get him out of that, what he said he used to be. I used to be live in the hood and all this. It was, she well, was trying to get out of that. The hood wasn't even like that back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, man. It actually was because you had the Black Panther the, Party. Yeah, or you had the, 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 the crack the, epidemic. Yeah, them different. That uh, didn't come into like the 70s and 80s though. You know, the trip. They had the LSD for gangs and shit. Yeah, that's right. No, it's a lot. I was actually looking in history and them gangs go back to like 19, early 1900s. But not bloods, it's not the way it oh, is no, right no, now. No, 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 yeah, it's not drive bys and you gotta do a drive by to get in the gang, or if you're a woman, you gotta get raped in or trained in or whatever. Yeah. It ain't like it was back then the way it is now. Yeah. Yeah. They were like d defensive communities for certain ethnic groups. Well, know? it tells you, it tells you in the scriptures that um, the wicked, the wicked wax worse and worse. You know, this place is waxing worse and worse. That's why. It is the way that it is now. And even so, being an old dude, right, then you drop the ball. Definitely, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You drop the ball for this generation and then the next generation. You didn't do your job. You know? And he's talk he was talking about fighting for Israel, and I told him, why are you fighting for those people? Those are the people that, the, the, that funded the slave trade. He said, I know. I know that. I didn't know that then. Well, I was like, but you still defending Israel, and you know that now. It means you didn't know shit. I didn't always wear this, but you still wearing but it right now. You still wearing it now. No, we we telling you what what it what it represents. I mean, forget that you think we're having a personal attack on you. Forget about that. We're just telling you what it is. I just I, I simply said, but you wearing a suit and a tie. And then I said, he's like, I don't wear this all the time. I go, well, we don't wear this all the time. But we're not going to represent the Lord in, in the Bible with a suit and a tie with a Babylonian custom. And a shaved face. And he can't fucking seem to, to understand that. Yeah, there's a there's a representation going that back, comes with the, being a man of the Lord. Going back to that word door. Are we, yeah, kind of. Are we, are, we, are we perfect? No. But like the brother said, he, he's sealed with a hot iron. Seared with a hot iron. His conscience is seared with a hot iron. So that, what, so he can't change. He can't change anything. Because he's he's seared with the hot iron. Nothing we say is going to Get through to his, get through to that seat. And the, and the Holy, the Holy Spirit ain't working with him. Because nah. he was trying to bring that out, but he really doesn't have an understanding of what it really is. Yeah, yeah. Well, even Paul said, I, I, you know, I don't know who I, who else I baptized besides, because I was not, I'm not here to baptize. I'm here to, 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 preach, a, to preach a word. Because you said we did the watering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that, that's the baptism of John was an 
uh, like an allegory, was like a metaphor for being being washed by the word. Because what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, if you would have drank of this water, you you would never thirst again. So that's the baptism right there. It is the water is the word. But who gives the increase? The Lord. The Lord. So I mean, what, what what does he expect? Yeah, he said, where are you guys' as fruits and all this? Who have you guys woken up? Man, there, there's many times where I've had comments of brothers saying, well, you know, I think the water you woke me up, you know? Me personally, uh, to my page personally. I don't know if you remember that brother, uh, um, his name was like uh, Sheep or something. Um, man, I forget his name, but he called me an elder. I was like, bro, I'm not an elder, you know what I mean? You know, but... And then there was another brother that now, now he's in the Charlotte camp. Their name at first was Mike Judah. And he was pretty much saying like, I, I woke, he found my videos and he woke up. And it wasn't my videos, but yeah, well, by Shimi Al Shai is using us, you know what I mean? Because it's not, this this is not of, of us, it's not of man. But yeah, well, by Shimi Al Shai does use men, which that guy, he can't, he can't see that, man. See, but he, he doesn't, he's not, He's not spiritual. He's not spiritual. He doesn't think spiritually, because if you if you understand spiritual things, we're, we're not up here looking for followers like he is. Neither. Either. He's out. He's out there looking for followers to increase to increase his gain, because because like in the scriptures, they they believe that gain is godliness. You know. Supposing that gain. This is uh, Romans 11 and 7. It says, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh giveth them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. That's what happened to him. And you think he's a dog that barks? No, he's not. He's, he's a not. dumb dog. He's a dumb, dumb, dumb dog. He doesn't. cannot bark. Well, if you're talking about a future, how are you going to be prophesying about the about the destruction of America? Why would you have a church looking for fools? He's he's looking for money. He don't even want to think about uh, uh, two years down the line or 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 a couple months down the line, America getting hit with nukes because that's his whole business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what he lives off of. Is that 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 church? That's why he has so much joy because his God is Satan. Satan's here. Mammon. His his God. Mammon. His God is here. I got a piece of it. Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, St. Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Shall be rooted. And he had he he had a problem with me saying that I I don't know if I'm gonna be saved or not. Hey. Well, he doesn't know the scriptures. He doesn't. Because Paul what did Paul say? I dare not make myself a good number. Thing. And Paul, Paul was. Oh, he said, "Hey, he, Paul said, at least I be uh, I preach to others. At least myself should be a castaway." I know what I was going to say. What were you going to say? No, I don't know. We're going to be talking about sometimes. Bring it up. No, I don't no, know. I, I, I want to. Now I want to hear it. I'll tell you in person. All right. It says, uh, "Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch." And, and, and he was like, "What's the evidence that you have the Holy Spirit?" He said the evidence was speaking at home. I mean, if I was a jackass, I could have started yelling some gibberish out and said, See, I, I speak in tongues. I got the Holy Spirit, brother. Well, <laughs> well the, scripture says, the scripture says evidence of things not seen. Evidence of things not seen. I can see you speaking in tongues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but even when it says to... that, it says you need an interpreter. You need an interpreter. <laughs> to, to, but it, it's not even talking about speaking gibberish. It's different languages. It's different languages. If you go into Acts, it clearly tells you languages. Languages, because yeah, get that, Bible Kishai. It clearly tells you that, man. Yeah, yeah. And that was the first miracle. Well, the first miracle to be done uh, to be done by the apostles. Maybe how we shot. This is somebody, and he was he he was he got so offended because we were laughing. He knew we were mocking him and laughing at him, <laughs> and I didn't. I didn't even mean to. It just it just comes out that yeah, way because it's just so ridiculous, man. Like, come on, bro. And we bring out the scriptures. And, and you know, notice one thing about demons. 
is they hate when life and when scriptures come out and, and totally destroy whatever they're talking about. And they they don't want to hear the scriptures anymore. After you know what they really hate? They hate when they say to get a scripture and that scripture cuts and them. And cuts them. Not but, knowing that the word is a two-edged yeah. sword. Which know? he did that when he brought out Revelation 3 and 8. And Timothy. And, and, and Timothy because he brought out the word. The word God, which was theos. Yeah. The they, theos. Theos. They pronounce it theos. Yeah, and he was a Freemason. He kept doing the hand, the hand yeah, gesture. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, God. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, he's a Mason. Yeah. Did he bring that up? This is Acts chapter 2. I'm going to start at 1. <laughs> and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven now when this was noised abroad the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language yep that's it right there that's what it's talking about by speaking because it said there was devout men jews from every nation under heaven so they were speaking the, the languages of those lands and then and then it goes on to say how how are these how are these hebrews or how are these men from uh uh Galilee, Galilee uh, uh, speaking to us in our languages. Let me get it. Yeah, keep going. It says, And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? So he, he's talking, so he said, What's the evidence of the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues? And, and we talked, he, he asked us, do we speak in, I don't know if that was on camera. Uh, I don't think so. Because we were talking to this guy like, uh, maybe yeah. a fucking hour before. Yeah, it was about an hour. We should have, we should have just opened up camera, but okay. it, it is what it is. We were speaking to him for like an hour before that, you know, he was bringing out all this nonsense about the Trinity, the God is, the Most High is, is Yahweh Shai. Just stuff that's easily debunked in the scriptures, and then his his whole basis for what he what he said what he said he believed in was off of one scripture. When we were bringing out all kind, we were bringing out all kinds of things, yeah. saying like, "No, man." He, and then it was to a point where I was like, "So the Lord was praying to Himself. The Lord was telling Himself, why hast thou forsaken me?'" Yes. Does that make any sense? Why have I forsaken myself? That don't make no damn sense. The Lord told his disciples, that was lucky. He told Pontus, he said, he said, hey, don't you think I can pray to my father and call down 12 legions of angels? Well, he said it out of his own mouth. Remember when I told him, look, you just admitted a separation just by the words that came out of your mouth because he said he prayed to his father. The first, second scripture I brought out was well, Proverbs the 30th chapter. Yeah, yeah. And there's a separation. There's a there. separation. What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell him, we brought that out again to show him that Jesus Christ is not Yahushua's name. Because it's a because he was talking about, oh, the Bible's all about mysteries and deep mysteries. Well, that's their names are a mystery. In fact, I had Zephaniah. I, I, I threw it away here. I'm bring it back. Because Zephaniah tells you. Bring it back. Bring it back. Zephaniah. The lost one to heart. That's the uh, holy truth. No, no. Oh, Lost right. your wand to harm. Oh, pure, pure tongue, pure language. <laughs> yeah, lost your wand is tongue, and to harm means pure. It says, Zephaniah 3 and 9, For then will I turn to the people of pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Okay? 
And then it tells you in the, it tells you uh, uh, in another place it says the, the, the his name would be one. Right? So Jesus Christ, that's, that can't be that can't be right. Lucky. When you go into the Revelation, it talks about to make his name new. Refresh. Refreshed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ ain't a name that's been refreshed. Mm -hmm. You know? That's a name that's been around for. Been around for like, like, minutes. From since the fucking Renaissance era. Since like the 14, since like the 13, 1400s. Really? And this goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in that killer two screen and shit. Yeah. The great dog. You know, but uh, yeah, man. And didn't he cause? Didn't he walk by earlier? Really? Yeah, it was he was like dropping the shit. Yeah. He was uh, spitting that hot fire. All those who do the work of the Most High, in the wilderness, and all in the condemnation of the enemy. In the wilderness. <laughs> the guy right up with that dude from my church, man. He was in your face, pointing his finger. You know what I mean? And and, and you know. If you debate the word, you're segregating God's people. You're supposed to touch and agree when you read. You know what I'm saying? When you study together, you know what I'm saying? That's what I see you guys doing, man. You know what I mean? Some dude came over here from the church that I go to, and I don't like his attitude already because the way he talks to me. Do you go to, you follow him? You follow him? That's said you go to his church? That's not his church. He goes to that church. I go to that church with him. I don't yeah, follow nobody but God. Okay. I don't I follow no man. say he was a pastor. Not that's what he said. Like he's not the pastor of Revival City. He's a, he's a member of the body. He's in the congregation. He said, come to my church. He said, come to my church. Yeah, yeah. At 6 o'clock. And didn't he say he was a pastor? Yeah, I thought I heard him. I'm pretty sure I heard him say he was a pastor. A lot of people have a form of godliness, but deny the power of their us. If you don't, stop going to that church. The pastor is cool. He ain't the pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not about church. It's about a personal relationship with the Heavenly Father. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all out here, man. I go to a lot of churches. I go to this one, you know what I'm saying? Because the pastor's down on earth and he's cool. And he ain't no gimmick. But 95% of the congregation is the apostasy. They're falling away. They go to church. Hallelujah! Go over there and molest their daughter. Slap their son around. Do go. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what he, he, he was. What, hey, what did he say? Uh, shit, I lost what I was doing. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, you, he said he was speaking in tongues. Who, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking in tongues. He said he was speaking that gibberish, that, that, that weird shit. You can never make a mockery out of the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? So you believe that too? Can you speak Spanish? Can you speak Israeli or Hebrew? Yeah, we speak Hebrew. Say something. To some, that would sound like speaking in tongues. That is speaking in tongues. I know. But we know what we're saying. Yeah, yeah, I gotta give you depth on that one. Yeah. It's because you know what it means. Okay, cool. That's me. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you wearing, why are you wearing that Egyptian, that Egyptian enemy? The I Ray Raw, the Holy Spirit was here in the Old Testament. It's light. It was in the Old Testament, but that, there was a separation between the Egyptians and the Israelites. It, it okay, fact, you heard Elijah and Moses? The most, the, in the Old Testament? In the Old Testament in Exodus, God destroyed Egypt. I don't want to debate the Egypt. word. Why not? I don't want to debate the word, because it's not a war. It's supposed to be united. I, you, you, you can't, right you can't, stand. Well, not debate them. You can't, you can't unite with God. I mean, we don't agree with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he can do his own thing. Like, but he did, he did reveal some things that were uh, he was, he, further edifying. He was, he was respectful. Yeah, right? he that's why I like, I like, that's why I was going in, God, God, because I'm not trying to. I'm not. Tr I'm not trying to attack. When I do these things, when I like, when I pointed out the other dude's suit, I'm not trying to attack him or who he is or his character. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to inform him that what you what you're wearing is a is, is a Babylonian custom that goes back to paganism. And just like he was wearing that Egyptian up, you can't worship. You can't worship God. You can't worship Yahweh Shai. You can't worship the Most High. Yeah, yeah, and wear an Egyptian on. That's why I was trying to explain to him that. The Most High destroyed Egypt in the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah for true sake, it was a uh, higher force. Because the honk is that cross thing. Well, I didn't call it. I call it. I said, why are you wearing that Egyptian hammer? Oh, no, no, no. I got a scripture real quick. Oh, okay, come on. It's Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the 
Yahweh that put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Yep. Yeah, because all the judgments that were that were being uh, seen upon the Egyptians, all the judgments that the Lord brought upon the Egyptians, he said, hey, not even a dog is going to move its tongue against the children of Israel. That's how you know there's a separation between these people. Because you're going to see the Egyptians on one side getting jacked up by all these terrors, all these pestilences, all these wild beasts. But none of these things are going to happen to my people. Yep. Although they look alike. Although they have the same so-called skin color like people like to say. Oh, it's a bell skin color? No, it's not because if that was the case, that wouldn't have been said there. I got it. This is Genesis chapter 43, verse 32, proving that the Egyptians didn't even like the Hebrews, right? It says, and they set on for him by himself. Let me start up a little bit. Yeah, he, I, it's an abomination. Yeah, all of us. It says, and for them by themselves, and for the Egyptians which did eat with him by themselves, because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination. <laughs> But you know what? Jake likes to seek love, though, you know? Obviously. He's like that dude. Love everybody. Like that dude on the mummy. You seen that guy on the mummy? That little fucking Arab dude on the mummy? When the, the mummy's coming at him and he had, he pulls out his necklace and he starts going through all these different gods God's on his neck. <laughs> and he starts praying. He starts praying in all their languages and everything and shit. That's Jake, man. Jake really be like that, bro. All, all the, all the, <laughs> praying to all the gods except for the one that really exists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why the, the demon didn't nice do it. That's why the demon didn't bow down. You know, but yeah, they got, they got so many gods. The Egyptians had like, what was it, a god for every day or something like that? Well, that Ankh, that Ankh, I think was, a, was, was a, like supposed to be a god of fertility. It was supposed to be like a, a, a woman or something. Yeah, it was a womb and all that. I think, yeah, I think that's what it was. I'm pretty sure. I don't want to. I don't want to say for sure. That, but it, it, I'm pretty sure it goes back to the fertility, uh, fertility god, which all these nations have all these same different gods. It's really the god from Babylon. Yeah, it, it all comes. It all comes from Babylon because all all the nations were 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 around during that time. Yeah, Babel. During the time. Yeah, yeah. During Tower the, of Babel. But see, but that's why Abraham was in the land of the Sumerians and. Um, Ur of the Chaldees. The Ur the, the Ur of the Chaldees. Well, uh, he was a, he was in that land, and the Lord told him to separate himself from the gods of those people. The gods of his father. The gods of his father. Okay. So what happened was is that the Most High chose Abraham and separated him from the world because all the world was worshiping these God, these Babylonian gods. There's nothing. There, so there's nothing new under the sun. You know, these gods have been around for since ancient, ancient times, man. And it goes back to goes back to the Tower of Babel. Well, all the all the nations were together at one point, and they all were worshiping the same thing. Yep, having having the same thing that you see going on in America, doing as you will. All that was going on back then, man. There's nothing new under the sun. It was all just a major cesspool, man, of, of just demonic. Uh, uh, you know, whatever, man. I got a script. Uh -huh. This is Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Yeah, uh, he didn't even come in sheep's clothing. Well, well, that, that gay clothing. Yeah, he came in that, yeah, he came in that. And gay then his own boy, well, dude in his, in his, his own yeah, church. His own, his, 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 own, his own homie, huh? Confessed that that dude was a wolf. He He's dressed like, like a wolf. Bro. He dressed just like that wolf in the cartoon, yeah. like from the mask. He got the suit. Yeah. And just weighing a pounds on somebody's wife. He got the heart <laughs> eyes, the tongue droop. He's Droopy. Like, he's like, he's, he, he, he's like, brother, brother Johnson don't got a BMW. Brother Johnson don't got a nice suit like that. Mm. Come hang out with me tonight. Watch Netflix. 
Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nay at his neighbor. Like a, like a yeah, 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 yeah. Nay and his Oh, and man. Nay. Well, who knows? You know, I, I, I ain't going to. Well, he said it. Oh, they in there slapping their kids, molesting. But like, yeah, yeah. Hey, and if that's he knows his church more than we do. Yeah, that's true. He was, he was, and he was talking about his, he was talking about his own church. Mm -hmm. Which that guy that yeah, came up here to debate us, and uh, he said that he, that was his church. He said that that was his. Church. I yeah. mean, if that shit's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy said that he was part of the body of that church. Yeah, yeah. So he was one of the dudes sitting at those councils, you know? He was a higher up. He put in all those Masonic hand signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, brother, we ain't perfect, man. But we ain't, we ain't molesting children. Yeah, we're not demons. We're not beating up our, our women. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. I said the F word. He was talking about people in his church molesting kids. And I said the F word. Looking at me all fucking like you didn't even say it. That I didn't. Cool. I didn't even <laughs> say it. I didn't even say it. Don't God. give me that with that rude speech. Remember you said that? Yeah, yeah. You, what? What a dick. <laughs> hey, like you always say, unreasonable man. Oh uh, yeah, wicked and unreasonable. Well, that's what I thought. I was like, man, come on, I cuss like a saint. This is um, verse sixteen. Ye shall know them by their fruits. And, uh, I told them that too. We came up with the seed. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, well, that's the point. You know, you'll know them by their fruits. And that that other man that came up with the eye of Horus pendant, he it, he said that 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 those people in those churches are doing all kinds of wicked things behind the closed doors, man. Those are their fruits, man. You hear about the molesting children, okay? Well, why do they got a big congregation so they can steal people's money? Okay, it's a den of thieves up there, man. This guy ain't doing what he's doing for free because he loves the Most High, because he loves Jesus. He's doing that for filthy lucre's sake, man. Hey, just like us up here, man. Okay, at the end of the day, we're not doing this. What I mean by this is like we're not we're not simply just doing this in vain like he's saying. Okay, nobody does anything in vain. We do this because we are commanded. We do this thing because the Lord promised us something for for fulfilling our part. And that promise, he promised us salvation, man. So we're doing this for a price as well. Okay? That that that, that that's what motivates you to keep doing this, man. If you're coming up here thinking, oh, I'm just doing this because I love the Lord, which at the end of the day we do, but your mind isn't isn't motivated by the rewards and the and the uh, the glory that we're going to receive. Okay, you can lose faith, man. You can get weak in the spirit because you ain't meditating on the glory, man. Okay. So everything comes with a price, man. We doing this at the end of the day. We want to be saved, man. That's that price. That's that. That's that. That 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 penny. Remember how the scripture talks about all the men working, laboring for a penny, for that one penny. Also talks about that promise. That promise. That penny. That promise is the kingdom, man. Eternal life. Eternal life. <laughs> really shit. You yeah, know. Most high's not a man that he should. No. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he got to finish because but we got to do our part. Exactly. exactly. The apostle, exactly. the apostle Tari. He always says, I'm doing this for a reward. Who likes to work for free, man? Of course, we're in debt to the Lord, but he's still going to reward us, man. And those rewards are there to keep your, keep your eyes single, keep you thinking, man, this is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm risking my life. This is why I'm, I'm comfortable knowing that if something were to happen in my family, the Lord promised me that I'm going to get them again, that I'm going to receive them again. Because if you think, okay, the Lord's just gonna throw you out there, let your children get their heads cut off in front of you, and it's just a whole fucking sob story, you need to read the scriptures more, man. Read uh, Maccabees, man. Because because the the, the, the the woman in Maccabees said, think on the Heavenly Father in His ways, simply paraphrasing, because He that gave me you can raise you up again and give me give you back to me. 
Because she, she was a woman that was wise, man. I wanted, to, I wanted to bring out a good point that you made because you said that we're in debt. And we're still going to get rewarded. See, what you got to understand is that <laughs> look at all this, the hell we're going to have to go through. That's a payment of debt. All the hell we've been through. All the hell we did. Yeah. But I'm, what I'm saying is like, what we're going to get worse. Yeah, worse. yeah, it's going to keep getting, that's a, that's a fulfillment of debt right there. Just like when the apostle like comes in, we always tell him that builds your spirit up now because you're going to fight stronger and stronger demons. But your hell is going to get stronger and stronger because your spirits are already built up on a level to get through the next level. I got present. Uh, there's Hebrews 6 and 10. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, mm. which ye have shewed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. I got too. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Saint Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, which is now, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. 